Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the Young Adult Novel Essence and historical fantasy novel I Am Mercy. Today we are going to be talking about how I'm not really good at letting people borrow my books. So I guess you could say I missed that whole chapter in life where your parents teach you how to share things, like your toys. I'm, I'm good with sharing toys. My books, however, I'm not good at sharing. So I'm very possessive of my books. I'm sure many of you can relate to this. You you like to keep a collection. You like them to look pristine and you're building your own library so you don't want them to be all crinkled and, and stained and stuff like that. If I do it, it's okay. It's my book I paid for with my money. It's okay. If someone else does it, there's gonna be some issues. So first off, if I lend you a book, it's not gonna look like this. I am going to take it and give it to you like this. There's less room to mess up if this is out of your possession. In fact, I take this to the extent that when I read my own books, I take the dust jacket off, find a nice little spot for it on the shelf, and carry this around. I also like it because then people can't really tell what I'm reading and they can't just jump to assumptions that she's reading a girly book. Of course, the title, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, kind of gets rid of that whole uh, maybe it's not a girly book thing, and it's pink, so, you know what, most of the time this whole mystery book works out, except when the cover is bright pink. And of course, if I let you borrow a book, you better not dog ear the pages. It's okay if I dog ear it, it's my book. In fact, I tend to dog ear my pages more than I use a bookmark. It depends on what mood I'm in. But if I get a book back from you and you've dog-eared it, I will hold a grudge against you. And when I do let you borrow a book, you're only going to have it in your possession for a limited amount of time. For me, normally, it takes me a week maximum to read a book of this size. If I'm not busy and if it's a good book, maybe two or three days to read a book of this size. And that means I will give you about two weeks, maybe a month maximum. So I'm gonna be bugging you for that book to be back in my possessions. If you're lucky and I forget about it, then maybe maybe you'll have a few months, but I'm still gonna go home, take catalog of my shelf, and realize what book is missing. Anyways, this is gonna be a short video now because I don't wanna seem any more psychotic than I am. Um, but thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.